the horizon, all of these magical things happen. I have always been painting for basically as long as I can remember. Rebecca Klementovich and Kristen Pavochnik are both abstract painters living and working in the White Mountains. They're also a dynamic duo on a mission to bring more attention to female artists and contemporary art to people of the North Country. So together we, we got together and thought, okay, how can we you know, increase the presence of abstract art up here because traditionally this area is very much um, associated with um, 19th century realist painters, more traditionalists like Champney. And so we're like, how do we pre break the ice a little bit, uh, introducing abstract work? And so that's when we started collaborating together. And the femme fatales of the North were born. And uh, we came up with the title Femme Fatale because it kind of has an element of danger. And when you're painting here on um, the foothills of Mount Washington, it's dangerous. Both women embrace their surroundings and translate their view of the White Mountain landscape onto their canvases. I find that the landscape here is definitely very influential in my work. Um, even though it's somewhat non-representational, there are hints of influence like from, you know, Diana's Baths or the waterfalls in the springtime or just the snowfall that we get. It's, it definitely plays a part in my artwork. Um, usually, typically, in the beginning of each painting, I'll do a lot of dry brushing at first and then I'll start pouring paint on and moving the canvas in a way that I want. And like this one especially exhibits a lot of movement, hence its title, The Dance. What is great about painting in New England is we have four seasons, so that's four different palettes. This is called The Covered Bridge, and what was so fun about this painting is that it's really kind of the first abstract painting of a covered bridge. Um, my brush stroke is very much uh, influenced through de Kooning's work. Both of the Femme Fatales work independently. Kristen at this studio in Conway, Rebecca at her own studio in Bartlett. But they get together often to check out each other's work and to bring their work out into the community. We ended up taking about 30 abstract paintings and putting them uh, through the trails of the Jackson Ski Foundation Center. And we just had the public ski to each piece and we had this blizzard in the middle of it. So um, we were able to really educate people through that. Um, and I think that offering events outside that typically, you know, non-art goers would attend, it really helps them kind of develop some sort of art appreciation, seeing it firsthand. You can find original abstract artwork from the two female artists all over the country, but it's a specific gender that tends to be buying. Yeah, it's, it's usually um, a successful middle-aged woman that's buying our work and she really understands it and she loves um, how vibrant they are and sh she has a good understanding of abstract work. So we're just trying to promote the presence of women artists and we get a lot of response from other women and it's inspiring to them seeing us kind of putting ourselves up, out there and hopefully it can kind of generate more momentum. Color plays a large role in both women's work and is often the binding component. However, unconsciously, that ties the works together when they're side by side. We're introducing a completely new palette to express the mountains and waterfalls or whatever we're painting. It's nice seeing our work together because it's very different, but it's also, it's, you know, two sides of the same coin, I feel like, because we're very, very different schools of modern art, um, very well represented in the 21st century. Abstract women artists living in the North Country of New Hampshire. Some might think that's a tough way to make a living, 
But for Rebecca and Kristen, the femme fatales of the North, it's a challenge they find incredibly rewarding. I feel like I have always been an artist. It's just always been in my blood. So the most rewarding thing is being able to succeed at something that is considered one of the hardest fields to succeed in, especially up here in the North Country. Um, it's been challenging, but it's been, I think, you know, we're making great progress by having these, out, these groundbreaking shows that are really opening doors to um, new art lovers and just educating the community. That's been really fun to see develop. It takes a lot of courage to put a lot of paint on and just do a huge brush stroke.